Good afternoon, boys and girls. I hope that you've had a good morning so far. I wanted to share with you a book that I actually bought when I was still studying at university many years ago. I was on um, a little trip in Yakandanda in Victoria and saw this at the Tourist Information Centre and I thought I'd like to share that with my students one day when I am finally a teacher. So here we are, I have shared it many times before, but I'm going to share it with you all today. Um, it's written by two girls called Megan and Penny. It doesn't say their last names. And um, they're just two girls um, who wrote the book together. And you can tell by the cover, they actually did the illustrations together because they're real, they're just normal drawings that they've had made into a book. So it's called the Aussie Outback Party. And it says on the inside here, another Kyra Penelope Irene James adventure. And then over here it says, hi, I'm Eric the Emu. I'm on every page, but sometimes I'm hiding. Can you find me? And it says Outback Party this way. And of course, there's lots of pictures there of Australian animals. It's interesting. And it's a good rhyming book, so you might pick up on some rhyming words. Kyra Penelope Irene James, who lives in Australia down under, watched lorikeets fly across the blue summer sky and thought, where are they going, I wonder? And where is Eric? I have someone who's going to help me find him. There he is, hiding behind the tree. She walked down a track through the Aussie outback to follow the birds as they flew. She saw emus with hats and some festive fruit bats being led by a black cockatoo. Where's Eric here? Yeah, there's two emus there. He's not really hiding, so he's probably one of those. In a eucalypt tree, she saw not one but three koalas with party hats on. They were clambering down and when they reached the ground, they scampered away and were gone. What a very strange sight, Kyra thought, as you might. If you saw creatures dressed up like this, then a snake slithered by with a wink of his eye and a quiet but quite friendly There he is. Can you see him hiding behind I the tree? Then she saw kangaroos with red bow ties and shoes, which seemed to the girl rather odd, and a wallaby dressed in her white Sunday best hopped by with a wave and a nod. Then Kyra Penelope Irene James had a thought for she is quite a smarty. Now I think that I know where they all want to go. There must be a big outback party. There he is. I can't see him. Hiding behind the tree. A wombat named Ron with his spectacles on and a waistcoat of orange and blue was scurrying by when the girl caught his eye and he stopped to say, How do you do? I am well, sir, and you, Kyra asked as you do, for her manners were quite good, you see. I am well too, indeed, the old wombat agreed. Would you like to come dancing with me? That's nice, Ron. Oh yeah, where is he? There he is. He keeps popping up everywhere, Eric the Emu. Then Kyra Penelope Irene James and her wombat friend headed out back. The party she sees through a gap in the trees at the end of a winding dirt track. There's a stage wide and long by a deep billabong where platypus swim, splash and play and an animal band that's the best in the land is providing the music today. There he is. Looks like he's going to enjoy the band when it starts. An emu in lace plays the big double bass, 
a Tasmanian devil plays drums. A bright pink galah plays an electric guitar with his feathery fingers and thumbs. He's not hiding there, is he? A green crocodile with a white toothy smile plays the wobble board over his knee and a white cockatoo plays the didgeridoo from the branch of a coolabar tree. Where is he here? There he is. It's one of his favourite spots hiding in the fork of a tree. Koalas in pairs lounge around on some chairs, nodding their heads to the beat, while pert, playful possums pick pale purple blossoms to throw at the crocodile's feet. Oh, that's a good spot, Eric. A dingo dog dances, a brown brumby prances, echidnas applaud every song till the sun starts to set. Then, with heartfelt regret, Kyra says to her wombat friend Ron, This party is great, but it's getting quite late, so I'll have to go home now, I fear. Then her wombat friend stands and they walk holding hands and he asks her to come back next year. Isn't that lovely? Ron and Kyra Penelope Irene James then Kyra Penelope Irene James thanks the wombat for walking her back. As Ron waves goodbye, stars appear in the sky and he waddles off down the dirt track. The girl goes to bed, pillow under her head, thinking back on her wonderful day. Her back parties are great, but because it's so late, she drifts off to sleep straight away. And where is Eric? There he is, he's peeking in the window. Imagine if you woke up in the middle of the night and Eric the Emu was peeking in the window. Wouldn't that be a bit scary? And it's a lovely picture in the back. There actually used to be a CD that went with it, but I have misplaced it along the way. Um, oh, it does say on the back here, so... Megan Bartlett Horn and Sue Penny Horn were the writers and illustrators of the book. Hmm, there you are. Well, that might be some encouragement. If you've ever thought about writing some poetry or a rhyming story or your own book even, this might be a bit of inspiration for you. You could do that yourself. It's a great book. Thank you, boys and girls. I'll see you again very soon. Have a great day.